Hi, welcome to Let's Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. So if you're ready, let's get started. I thought we'd do a nice easy one today. This is 140 pound blocking for the paper and I've uh, pre-stretched it and uh, I have just put masking fluid on some of the parts of it and we're going to set off with a real nice summer sky. So into the bottom part, all the way across the page, some Naples yellow, papers laying flat and between that some cad red deep, let them mingle together. And into the top part of our sky, we'll run some Severus Blue. You can use Cerulean Blue for this if you want to. And the reason why we put the red in is so that it doesn't mix with the yellow and get a green. Then just at the top with a little bit of a stronger mix of the same colour. Just darken the top. And then we're going to just where the foliage in the trees is indicated, I'm just going to dry it. And we're just going to leave that to uh, for the shine to go off. Then we'll put some soft grey summer clouds in. Now that a bit of the shine has gone off the paper, we'll put some soft grey clouds in. This is a mixture of cobalt blue and burnt sienna. Just drizzle them in. Create some interesting shapes, nothing too complicated. Touch more, and put a larger one there. Something between. Then while we have that here, we'll just introduce some raw sienna. So on this side. Instead of front land, we just pop some yellow ochre. Same here. Turn into that. Burnt sienna, straightforward. A little bit on this side. Run some into the bank here. Whilst the paper is still damp, this is a mixture of gamboge and the indigo. And we're just going to pat some background bushes in whilst this paper is still damp. This is a, a medium strength. Just keep feeding some in. bringing it a little bit down into the land then with the same <coughs> mixture it's in the background trees just add some to this piece of land here and then just for a different kind of colour just drop in a darker mix of gamboge and indigo just to indicate some darker spots. Just pull a little down, just let it drift. Into the foreground. And then we're going to allow that to dry a little bit. It's been left a couple of minutes. So with a damp brush, that's full of water, and now I've just taken the water out. Take a little bit of paint out in the land. You're actually looking for that, but you just want some soft areas. In the bottom, we can create some shadow. This is just a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of touch of ultramarine added. I just want some shadows under your bushes. Nothing too dark at the moment. With a really strong tone of dark green, which is ultramarine blue, burnt umber, and gamboge. I'm just pulling some darks all 
one here. Down brush once again. Soften off the edges. Now all that touch it dry. Now that the background's dry, <coughs> we'll just put a few dead trees in. Now this is a weaker mix of the cloud colour, which is that one which is cobalt blue and burnt sienna. Once your background trees are in, we can come to the foreground trees and this is just a, a relatively weak mix of gamboge. And we're just going to put, this is a, a filbert brush, and we're just going to put the bright side of the trees in. When you do this, think about shape and form. Same on this side. I'll just do a few. Once your gamboge is dry, we'll move into a mid-tone green. This is indigo and gamboge once again. And just to go around the yellow, allowing patches to show through. We'll be putting a darker tone on shortly. I'll just do a few to get the hang of it. Now that that's dry, we can uh, introduce some really darks from underneath the leaves, and I've just re-wet the lake area or the pond area. So we'll just put the darks in first. I'll just do a few more. Just finish this off, and I'll join you in a minute. Okay, that's your trees finished off, and that's a real simple way of painting your trees and foliage in. And we'll just come to the lake and you know it's been wetted as I've explained before. Same colours as the sky. All the way across Naples yellow. Cadmium red deep. Then into that some Seavers blue. I'm just going to leave some light and dark areas. <clears throat> In the foreground, merge them together, drop a little stronger ones in here, taking some of the cloud colour, cobalt blue and burnt sienna, we can sort of drop that in as well, just a couple of strokes to indicate the waterfall, almost a dry brush this take off the excess paint and like I've said before when painting a waterfall sometimes the less paint you get on the better the effect running a pond behind it soften the back edge off with some water on the end of your brush you can introduce some reflections this is a mid-tone green indigo on gamboge I just sort of mirror where these trees are. You can always tip your board, <coughs> get it to flow a bit better for you. Same on this side, then with a really strong mix of indigo and gamboge with burnt umber. Drop the dark part in. side of the burnt sienna and you can leave all that to dry now that most of the painting is dry we'll move on to these trees here I'll just do a couple and we'll do the same for this side as we do for this side I've just run up some yellow ochre up the tree and on one side only I'm just going to drop a mixture of burnt umber ultramarine with just a touch of gamboge to make a really dark green, it almost looks black. And I want to leave some of the branches where the um, masking fluid has been, I want to leave them white. Just to help draw your eye in. 
just tuck one side, wiggle it about a tiny bit, don't make them like uh, flagpoles. Let's pull out the main branches. Light over dark, dark over light, and then we do the same to this side. Now your trees looking something like that. What we can actually now do is just add some reflections in along here, just to darken it. This is the mid-tone green first. Just re-wet some of the areas because you don't want the uh, reflections to spread too far. Into that, we will just drop some darker green. Reflection of the tree in, a little bit of yellow ochre on the side. Just there. Some there as well. A dark green on this side, almost a black colour. We can put some grasses in. This is just a real dark mix. Into the pond. Some here. Just to sign it. Put some scratch marks into it to put some ripples on it. Right here, I think. Okay, this is a finished painting, it's been signed, I've scratched in a few um, ripples to make the water sparkle, just took some paint out at the back and just added a tiny little few bushes there um, with sticks and twigs and thank you very much for watching, if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe for any further videos to come, thank you very much.